Hello YouTube, Neptune Courier. No courier jacket on today as yet because we've not started work today yet. It is now half past ten. So just a quick sort of rundown what's going on, what's my life as a courier driver been like. Monday started off well, nine o'clock collection in Glasgow, drove it down to Newcastle. The last time I was in Newcastle was mid-afternoon and all afternoon, it was ping, 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 job, 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 Manchester, Stockport, London, Southampton, Wales. Jobs backwards and forwards, I did two beer runs last time I was here. So I got here yesterday at 12 o'clock, I thought, oh, we'll get something anywhere, north, south, east, west, didn't care. Started bidding on jobs, get nothing. 10, 15 minutes away, bidding 65p, I'm not getting awarded anything. So... I'm not happy going less than 65p, so yesterday I didn't. I thought, oh, maybe a late evening job will come in going down to Manchester. And uh, yeah, nothing came in. So anyway, got myself the cheapest travel lodge I could. A um, bit of a hit yesterday because it wasn't a great day for money. It wasn't a bad day for money. The shipper I came down with paid me better than 65 pence a mile to come down. Um, so, and that evening in the travel lodge, I looked at a couple of jobs and I booked a job for this afternoon, half past two, Carlisle, Edinburgh, Glasgow, Paisley, um, which is an okay paying job. And the shipper, actually, it's not an okay paying job, it's a very well paid job. And uh, you know, we're on big van money for this particular job. And I don't know why, um, but we'll get to that in a minute. So, at the moment, we're sitting at the Angel of the North. Let's have a little look. Bear with. So, here we are at the uh, Angel of the North, and uh, interesting place i always thought you know obviously that's a really big structure um as you see it from the motorway excuse me whoopsie you see it from the motorway when you get to it ah this steel plate is massive but of course it has to be why would it be anything else anyway we're at the angel of the north we're sitting here having a cup of coffee and um hopefully some kind of hot shot or whatever comes in that we can deal with today uh, before heading off to brampton to do the next job. That's hilarious. A couple just drove in in their car and instead of walking to the Angel of the North, I've decided that they'll drive on the public footpath. The little white car. They've just come in, driven up, parked in the parky bit and decided that that's the way to go. Well, I suppose it means they're exposed to Covid for a little bit less than things. And now I've forgotten what else I was going to say. Um, yeah, it's completely gone. Anyway, uh, hopefully we'll get a good day tomorrow and, uh, and we'll see how it goes. All the very best, everyone. I forgot I was going to mention about today's job. So today's job is COVID samples. Again, <laughs> what we're going to do when COVID stops, there's going to be no work. So I'm going to go to a little place called Brampton, pick them up, go up to uh, Edinburgh, to a hotel in Edinburgh, pick up COVID samples from there, drive to Glasgow, pick up some COVID samples there, and then wait for a driver who's going to take those COVID samples on to their final destination. I bid for the job, I bid it at my absolute minimum rate, which we've discussed dozens of times before. That's what I'm going to work for. Um, and if I don't get the job, I don't get the job. Um, and I put it on last night at 8 o'clock. Didn't expect to hear anything this morning, 8 o'clock, when the office of this particular shipper opened up. They were on the phone straight away. Hi there, you've been on our job. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, are you still okay to do it? Yes, I am. Okay, great. And she said, now, what rate works best for you? And I've never heard that before. I said, well, I'm happy with the rate that I bid for the job, thinking she was trying to uh, knock me down. But she turned around and she changed my rate and she increased my rate because she thought I'd gone in too cheaply. What a fantastic shipper. Thank you very much, uh, Mrs. Shipper Lady. Let's, uh, let's work for you more often. In fact, I'll drive empty to go and pick up jobs for her um, so that's it today so then why did that happen maybe someone else will know is it common maybe someone knows um, someone stick a, a share in to uh, Pete the Courier Big Beardy or um, you know, a van on the run maybe these guys will know um, that does that happen very often that you say I want 100 quid for this job and they say oh you're getting 125 <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> anyway never happened before thought it was noteworthy going to stitch it on the back of the other video be safe. Have a great day. Cheerio bye.